Welcome to our review on farming for tomorrow. So the first thing we need to understand is the reasons behind why we're developing these new farming techniques. So the basic principle here is that we need to increase food production. As the population of the world increases, we need more food to be able to feed all those people. So some of these new techniques that we've developed are fish farming, glass houses and hydroponics. And we're going to look at each one of those in turn to understand why we actually do this. If we consider fish farming first of all then, fishing traditionally is not a sustainable way to do it. So what we actually find is that we've developed this idea of a fish farm where we're going to breed and rear fish in these large cages in rivers or the sea. So what we've got is a contained area with the fish that we're going to breed and raise in that one zone throughout their whole lives and then obviously remove them from there as and when we need them. So the advantages to this then is that we've got a large captive stock which are nice and easy to catch. It's cheaper than obviously sending out fishing vessels to sea and being unsure about what they're going to return with. There's less predation because obviously in that cage you're going to separate them off from any predators that would normally eat them in the wild. And we won't need to actually fish that wild stock, which means that those wild populations can recover. Disadvantages though, because all those fish are kept in close proximity to one another, disease can spread quickly and it may also then be able to infect the wild population because remember these cages are kept in the rivers or the sea where other fish may come close by. Second technique is the glass house or as you may know it greenhouses. Now the reason we use glass houses is because we're going to actually be able to control pretty much everything. So we're going to use these energy efficient methods to control the environment within that glass house. And that means that we can grow commercial crops all year round. So there are some pretty significant advantages to these. First of all, as we've already said, we can control the environment to grow crops 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We can also treat and control diseases easily because it's in a nice enclosed environment. Any pesticides and fertilizers that we're going to use will be contained inside and therefore won't be at risk of contaminating other areas and it reduces the number of imports of food we need to do because it means we'll be able to grow foods that naturally grow in warmer climates in our country. Finally hydroponics is where we're growing plants without soil. So what we do is we suspend the roots which are nicely exposed into a solution that contains the correct concentration of minerals. So we're not using soil at all here, we've just got a solution in which the roots of our plant actually sit. In terms of the advantages of this, we can grow several sets of plant in the same space because we can stack them up one on top of the other because we don't have to have them anchored into the ground by their roots. We can also reduce waste because any of the mineral solution that isn't absorbed can be recycled and fed back into the system once more. We can grow plants in areas where the soil quality is too poor. So theoretically, you could grow these plants in the middle of a desert because there's no need for the actual soil quality to be good. We've got a much better control of the minerals because we can literally add the tiniest quantities to get it exactly right. And we can control diseases. Bearing in mind a lot of plant diseases are spread through the soil. If we remove the soil, we remove a lot of diseases. There are however some disadvantages associated here, first one being that the soil is used to support the plant. So if we don't have soil, we don't have support. So we need to have some kind of frame or tray or a system that's going to provide that support for our plant. And secondly, we've got to constantly add fertilizers to that solution because there's no soil available to store them. So that means we've got to have that constant addition of those dissolved minerals.